Hi there, viewers. Uh, after yesterday's debacle with G in the press conference, I just want to apologise now to her, to the fans, to anyone re related to Salford that's offended by what I said about G. And uh, she, I'm pleased, I'm pleased to announce, really, she'll be with us until the end of the season. So, um, yeah, excellent news. Really pleased that she's sticking with us. And, uh, yeah, here's to a, a great end to the season. Thank you. Right, was that good enough? Yeah, is that all do? She's fucking incompetent. Run the intro. Did I hear that bit? Right then, folks, welcome back to The Solver Story with me, your host, Dr. Seven Jeff. How are you? Are you okay? Are you doing all right? How are things? They're good. Right, so I shouldn't pry. Sorry. As you can see, we're still in sixth place. And since we last met, we actually, well, we, we ended the run quite badly. We last met against West Bromwich Albion, two under feet. We then lost to Manchester United. Uh, and then we drew with Liverpool, which isn't a great result because they got promoted. Two bad to back wins against uh, Newcastle and Chelsea. Chelsea having a dreadful season, by the way. Uh, a 1 1 against Reading. Wins against lowly Leicester. And decent. And Burnley side and then a defeat to Arsenal so we went on like a very bad run of five games without a win we then went six games without a loss and now we're back on the losing streak I assume uh, we play Aston Villa who are bottom of the table today and Everton in our sort of beginning of January and I for one am very bloody excited now next episode we may do a little run through of January we have 50 million left to spend and I feel like we should spend it. Based on where we are in the league table, we have to, like, this this top six monarch is not confirmed by any stretch. We have to get um, a, a good run in on the go to, to definitely secure ourselves. And, and I said at the start of the season, Champions League is the goal. So I think we might spend big in January. And if we do, I will, uh, next episode will be a sort of January run through. Maybe the back end of January, maybe like the, the, the second portion of it. And uh, we'll talk through what we've done, what we plan to do. And uh, yeah, you'll see it all unfold. So yes, here we go into today's episode. Though two matches, starting things off against Aston Villa who have 11 points it's just like real life but 13 years in the future I should mention as well I've, I've been looking to buy this young lad on a on a pre-contract um his existing contract 2.6k a week so I thought oh yeah, yeah I'm sure it'll be reasonable as you might have seen 115,000 is the minimum he'll he'll accept suggest that he'll do that no obviously not ridiculous Another little bit of transfer news. Jule Megna uh, looks to me to be quite a prospect coming through at France. Um, I, I'm, I'm going in for him. Uh, again, pre-contract. I don't know if he's wanted by the clubs. He may well be. Ah, yes, of course he is. Uh, well, we know what happened last time, don't we? So let's see if it unfolds again. Uh, I'd like to get him on a free transfer. I'll have him for the end of the season. I, I like the look of him. I think he looks good at Rusting Club de Lens. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, and this is the team we're going to play against Aston Villa. As you can see, a change in shape, change in formation. Only, to, only a little bit. Formation. Man, just changed it a little bit. Uh, Barry and Peter are sat back a little bit deeper. Gives us a bit more defensive solidity. We don't get exploited down the wings anywhere near as much. I argue to say we don't create as much, but we're definitely more solid. And it allows Sandoval and uh, Peter Phillips to do a bit more business up the, up the top end. Sandoval now places a deep lying forward attack. And you might think, well, that seems strange because you've not mentioned this ever before. But you, you say this, he actually works quite well. You can see from all his attributes there, apart from the passing one, he suits it quite well. So, um, yeah, and, he, and he's been scoring a few goals for us so far this season. 7 in 13. Not not too bad at all. More than last year, where he was piss poor and injured. Biggest shock today, Peter plays. He's always injured, but he's back. Everything else, largely the same. I should say, Andy Blackhouse has been playing recently. He's been doing all right. Um, bringing him into the side, trying to develop him, slowly but surely. And, uh, and yeah, he, he's, he looks a bit bare, doesn't he? He looks a bit raw still. 20 years of age, got a lot of growing to do. He's six foot two. He's, he's a big boy. Okay, they're playing the uh, the standard four two three one, and we go into today's game with high spirits. Now they're bottom of the league. We shouldn't be messing it up against these. Then again, I've said that sort of thing before, and we've so we've all seen what happens. So <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Defensively, we should be a lot stronger though. The way our, our wingers play, we couldn't hold off Arsenal. Arsenal beat us pretty comfortably. I think we had like two shots in the game. Uh, but against teams like Aston Villa. We should be allowed to, to excel a little bit more. We start standard fluid, and then as, as the game goes on, and, and as we get a bit more of a, a grasp of it, we can go attacking and really force the pressure onto them. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we get a win. Got to stay competitive. You can see down to about Reading in 11th from uh, Manchester United in 5th, a five-point gap, not a great deal of leeway, a leeway even to, to mess up. So, keep it up. All right, 20 minutes gone. We might switch to attacking early, actually. I don't, I don't feel overly threatened by Aston. I mean, just keep it shut. Wait for nothing to happen. Sevilla come forward. Edwards slipped the ball through. My, I mean, did he lasso it? 
it's hard to say. He saved it, that's for damn sure. Uh, corner kick to Aston Villa. Casper, the friendly defensive midfielder with the blockage, and uh, plays it forward to Sandoval, who's got absolutely no support, but that's fine. We're looking to build. Okay, Vidal finds Peter in our first real attack of the game. Vidal again, obviously being pushed forward, didn't play so uh, so further forward. Oh, well, I talk about him, and he scores a goal. He's playing in that sort of third midfield role now. He's playing just behind Peter Phillips, and has got the, the movement to, to roam wherever he kind of wants to go. And he's got himself a goal. I'm not sure how many he scored this season, but I think he's got maybe five now. I'm not entirely sure. You may have seen it at the bottom. I can't remember. Uh, Babiev chips it forward. It's a poor header, and Diego Vidal, he would have never scored this goal in previous seasons systems with it it's 1-0 lovely stuff at Salford Stadium as well which still looks magnificent even in the winter looks great uh Kasper and Vidal combined there on the right side and Babiev got a, lot of, got a lot of movement in front of him if he can pick somebody out Peter it's a Sandoval oh my, oh he's lassoed it he's quite literally lassoed that one I'm sick of it. The Lasso has been not present for a while, but if you, I mean, if you don't understand the Lasso reference, it's from a, a very early episode of the Solver Story, but yeah, it's basically where he gets a rope, Lasso's it, and pulls it back without actually being near the ball. Exhibit A, a moment ago. Uh, as we come to half time, then I'm going to, I want to get assertive, I think. I'm pleased other things are going to keep it up. I want, them to, I want them to keep the pressure on, though. I don't want us to get complacent. Too many times recently, we've been in a bit of a lead and uh, we've thrown it away. So, not today. Let's try and hold it. Peter. And uh, Peter Phillips, well, well, less said about that, the better. Oh, if we win today, look, Manchester United seem to be having a little bit of a slip up, and uh, we may leapfrog them. Peter with a, a free kick, whips it in towards Sandoval, headed away, and uh, Andy Backhouse on it, plays it out to Babayev, who's, uh, who's, who's creative enough to do something here. What's he going to do? Probably going to be very uncreative. Well, he's chipped it into the middle. I mean, well, not great. Gets it back, though. And uh, we're going to see if we can work something. We need to get a little bit wider. It's Kask Kask we can play through Peter here. Get a ball into the middle. Sandoval is lurking. At the back post. Sandoval makes it two. And, uh, yeah, he's having a much better season this season. Eighth goal so far in the campaign. And, uh, yeah, our goal difference compared to the top four, not that good. But Sandoval on the score sheet is something I like to see. And Peter, the, the two injury-prone players combine to put us 2-0 in the lead. And, uh, yeah, Villa look beaten already. Okay, 20 minutes left on the clock. I'm taking no chances on our Andrew Prone pair. Uh, so Sandoval is going to come off for Ferrero and uh, Jeff Thomas has come on for Peter. Should we make a, a triple change? We'll, we'll hold a change back. We've got maybe for the last five minutes or ten, ten minutes or so. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Very pleased. Barry's got it. Left side now. Ball into the middle. Oh, Vidal. Close to Aunt Ferrero. The second half substitution gets himself a goal as well. Federico Ferrero. His first goal for us. He's been playing a sort of target man role, getting people involved uh, when he's come on. But he's actually got his first goal for the club today. He's been a little bit unhappy because he's not been playing as much because of Sandoval's good form. But he'll be delighted with that goal. First of the season, nearly January. But, uh, oh well. Villa with a chance. First real chance of the game. Marky Parky tips it around the post. And it continues at 3-0. Okay, no need for a final change. And as Barry Whip puts the ball in. And it's cleared. That's probably going to wrap up today's game. If we come on. Come on. There we go. So for three, Aston Villa nil. Good result for us. Keeps the run going. If we ignore the, the result against Arsenal where they beat us but we're playing well and uh, yeah Diego Fidel man of the match 9.0 rating did very well indeed a goal each for the strikers too and uh, we roll on to our next game against Everton was it Everton? I think it was Everton it was Everton I knew it I knew it all along it was more of a quiz wasn't it really oh my I've come back after that game and apparently he's going to sign 1.1 million to be deducted Jule Megna Menga bit of a wonder kid and I tell you what, I am very pleased. If we take a look, quick look at the scout report, I did note, not injury prone. And uh, apparently he's got no intention of joining a club on a permanent basis. Well, that seems like a lie. And uh, yeah, he's going to come in as another striker. And I'm very, you know, I'm very, very pleased with this. I think he could be, well, who knows, a future star. Still 19, play to roam and uh, work with. Now, we may well be able to buy him early. Shall we have a little look? Now, if you sign a free transfer, there is... Oh, it will attempt to start learning English before arriving. What a guy. The question is, can we manage to buy him early? Make an offer. He's already accepted a contract offer. Yes. I've. It's mine. I want to try and get him early. I don't think we can. Well, well maybe we'll be here in the summer. Anyway, carry on. Uh, Everton. Just in case anyone's interested, I know this is uh, of interest to some people. Uh, Rodrigo Bentecure has won the Golden Ball achievement uh, for the year. It looks very good. Real Madrid player now, 32 years of age. Uh, I might as well show you the team of the year as well. They also won World Player of the Year. Did very well. A couple of regions there as well. Uh, and that's the World Team of the Year. You can see that Real Madrid dominate. Are sporting players in there? So they must be doing all right, I guess. Uh, Chouffet in goal for, for Udinese. 
a player obviously that you may well recognise, uh, Patola up front. Some, just some decent players there. Patola's doing very well in the league this year, so uh, unsurprising to see him there. Donnarumma is on the bench as well. We didn't get any players in there. R- Rivy's on the bench as well, but we didn't get anyone there. But Diego Vidal and Marky Parky, team of the week. So I know where I'd rather be. World team of the year, obviously. We've got third in goal of the month. I mean, we're racking up the awards. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Okay, then, next game coming up against Everton. Everything's just going to remain the same. Don't need to change a single thing. Uh, Fitness-wise, we look pretty good, so I'm not too concerned about it. We have an FA Cup game coming up soon where we can do a little bit of rotation. Uh, But, yeah, Everton, the team we're playing against, I don't think they're in a great season. Mid-table, 10th-ish. Yeah, 10th they are. 26 points. Only, what is that, uh, six points behind us, so... They've got a chance here, but we are favourites for the game, so let's do a, let's do the business. We're chasing down Arsenal in those Champions League spots. We just need to win games by more than like two goals would be nice. I mean, the last game we did three goals, so I don't want to talk about. Everton going for a very standard formation, something I think we'll probably all recognise. And oh, we've got a famous guy there, look, a, f- a famous guy. <laughs> It'll be annoying when he scores later. Right, I'm going to tell them I expect nothing but a win, but I'm also going to try and give them the calm, I have faith in you approach. Come on, Sandoval. Didn't care. Didn't care. Right then, after the, the the success of the Aston Villa game, a game that you'd, yeah, you'd expect us to win, they're bottom of the league, can we then follow it up with a, with a mid-table battle against Everton? I, I say mid-table. I feel like deep down I know we're a bit of a mid-table side, just performing above expectation, but that's fine. Let's do that. First action of the game. Ball in by uh, their, their player called Di Maria. Not the same Di Maria, I don't think. I think it's Di Maria rather than Di Maria. But, I mean, I, I'm explaining it in far too much detail. Essentially, it's not Angel Di Maria. As uh, Everton come forward, make their way into the box ball cut across it's just i will watch it we'll have to watch it everything's going so well three nil against villa battered them and then we have this happen where the ball is played in and uh i mean what do you say about that i'm speechless Anchor Brand just doesn't care just doesn't give a shit they've not even had a shot on target they're one nil up that's how annoying it is i mean now they have had one fair enough ball played in everton looked to make it two we're gonna we, i mean do we go attacking early here we did it in the last game and it went quite well half an hour gone i i fear that they may well get another one here as it's put to the back post and it's a great block i must say number 10 who got back there peter oh, sandoval getting back and now we're going to try and break away sandoval made the ball okay well never mind never mind then it doesn't matter we've not had a shot yet we've had more possession we've had a shot now why is it mugging me off today corner kick peter just before half time not the greatest of deliveries but we're sticking in there peter into sandoval turns his man andy backhouse is there what what hello confused to why that's a highlight now all of a sudden don't be a highlight because they're counter-attacking that's not that's unfair it started with a corner for us ball to the back post sort of same highlight continues cleared <laughs> okay half time is approached and the, the the joy of this formation is it gives me the option to do this duh duh there we go now we're a threat apparently okay as, as much as we're a threat they play wingers so 16 minutes or 16 seconds into the uh second half Falantresco de maria gets the goal 2-0 i don't want to watch it again thank you i think we're all aware of what happened okay our first real chance or highlight of the game and the ball's put behind peter which is not ideal but he will try and get to the byline and get a ball in you'd hope or he plays it early into casper the, the little run of sandoval can he slide it into him sandoval on the ball shot on goal back to peter in acres of space good save by the goalkeeper and they managed to keep it in as well that's pig and annoying i can't believe we've scored an own goal where we've literally just popped it in the far corner for them as I say this, the famous chap has got it on that right side. Ball whipped into the back post. We're not defending crosses today, apparently. Push these boys back, for God's sake. Right, Ferrero is in hot form after the goal in the last game. We're actually going to push these guys on. Maybe, I don't know what... Uh, no, let's just push these on as well. Let's just go for it. Go, go all out. We need goals. We're th- we, we won 3-0, but we're going to lose 3-0. That's why our goal difference remains at 2. I mean, this could get embarrassing, folks. This could get embarrassing. Di Maria on the right side. Ball whipped in. Good save by what save forget the save it, it not even matter i mean we, we, just, we just battered villa it was looking so good and then this and they're all gonna be going ditch the three at the back we just, we went five games unbeaten earlier in the season and now you're like i'll oh, ditch it no i won't ditch it we'll we'll work it out yes it's shit we'll it, we will recover from this here we, uh, this is the, the moment ball played in anchor brand in the same corner we did it earlier we're back in the game 4-1 mark my words this is going to be a draw we'll watch this peter whips it into the back post and uh pretty much from the same area in which he headed in the own goal he's now got himself a goal and really it's 3-0 now based on the fact that he's cancelled out what he did earlier on and i respect it 
in before he scores another own goal here as they've got it again basically they're playing very wide footballers ball played into the middle Parky with a good save I mean good catch and uh, yeah we're going to have to score now if we're going to make this comeback happen and I fancy it ball played up for, to Fierro heads it back Peter's going to get onto that he has done Peter Phillips now ball played, played through to Vidal this could be the comeback of all comebacks Peter on this right side again gets tackled but remains with the ball ball played in Ferrero's there clear to Casper the attack is not over though plays it out again to Peter ball to the back post Barry's there cleared and oh shit okay this winger lark is a problem they've got five on two here in the middle Di Maria charging forward that's the goal <gasps> I mean he's not actually so that's probably not legal because he's done that he's not got I don't know what that is not a lasso what object I guess you can pick what object is Peter uh, uh, Peter Phillips Marky Parky I don't Peter Phillips isn't in goal I mean let's hold on a moment what object as Marky Parky used to block that goal because it certainly wasn't his body as the ball's played through and I tell you this could be three goals in ten minutes we're back in the game Ferrero good save by the goalkeeper and the dream's over getting very animated for a game which we're losing 4-1 don't know why I feel like I've just got to remain sort of fake positive because otherwise they'll they'll see me on the sideline in just tears and there'll be a breakdown for all of us as uh, that pretty much brings us to the end and 4-1 defeat to Everton who are in 10th okay we stay in 5th I mean who cares United are rubbish there it is then full time um, well not great ooh going to bollock him aggressive I'm that was not good enough for a little motivated it's always annoying because they should have done that before right then folks we will be back around the QPR Sunderland Hull time uh, we'll do like the three games there as well as a sort of a January rundown we'll do a sort of short, short compressed three game episodes uh, where I can talk about transfers and things like that we're going to spend some money let me know in the comments where do you think we should spend it I will uh, read them and, and, and so that does bring us to the end of today's episode if you have enjoyed it please drop a like let's aim for a thousand likes if you're, if you're enjoying the series and you want to show some support to it dropping a like is the best thing you can do because it, it lets me know you still like it so we love with care we're going to spend you until next time I'll see you again very soon goodbye 3-0 4-1 might as well not turn up today what is the point